Now, continuing from the combination of quadrants, we are going to solve another problem. We are, we are going to solve, try, analyze and uh, try to solve the another problem. Draw the projections of the following points on the same XY line, keeping convenient distance between each projectors. Name the quadrants in which they lie. Capital A, 30 mm above HP and 35 mm in front of VP. Capital B, 35 mm above HP and 40 mm behind VP. And uh, capital C, on VP and 40 mm above HP. And capital D, 35 mm below HP and 30 mm in front of VP. So here, if you consider point capital A above HP and in front of VP, so obviously the condition is for the first quadrant, where in first quadrant the condition is above HP and in front of VP, so obviously capital A should lie on first quadrant. Capital B is above HP and 40 mm behind VP. So second quadrant condition is above HP and behind VP, so naturally capital B should be in second quadrant. So capital C is on VP, 40 mm above HP. So since it is on VP and since it is above HP and it is on VP, so obviously above HP condition will be there in first and as well as the second quadrant. Therefore, in the first quadrant, above HP and in front of VP. Suppose if you are considering second quadrant above HP and behind VP. So since the first and second quadrant has got the condition above HP, but it is on VP, obviously capital C has is in first as well as the second quadrant. Capital D. 35 mm below HP and 30 mm in front of VP. So since the fourth quadrant condition is below HP and in front of VP, so therefore capital D will be in fourth quadrant. Now we are going to try to analyze this problem. So here, when you are seeing 30 mm above HP and 35 mm in front of VP, when you look from the front view, we can see the distance 30 mm above HP, that image will going to fall on VP. and. Uh, when you look from the top view, it is in front of VP by 35 mm and when it is rotated by 90 degrees, what happens? 30 mm above HP will be above XY line, that is A dash and 35 mm will come below XY line, that is A. When you are considering for the second quadrant, uh, 35 mm above HP, that is capital B and uh, when you look from the top view, uh, 40 mm behind VP is seen in HP. So when HP is rotated down uh, to the top, both VP and HP will be overlapping and both B and B dash will be above XY line, so you can see here. Similarly, capital C is on VP, uh, above HP and on VP, so when you look from the front view, above HP we can see in the front view, and since it is on VP, the image will go into false on HP, so the condition is above HP and it is on VP, so obviously above HP will be in the first quadrant and as well as in the second quadrant. When HP is rotated down and in the second quadrant HP will go to the top, so, but image will going to remain the same. So, that is the reason why C will be on XY line and C dash will be on above XY line. Similarly, on VP and in front of VP. So, here, so when you are taking the capital D, <coughs> capital D is uh, below HP and in front of VP. So, below HP is seen in VP and uh, in front of VP is seen in HP. So, when HP is rotated down, both the front and top view will be below XY line, which can be shown here. So this is how you will be able to analyze this problem. So now we will going to try to solve this problem by using AutoCAD software. So to do that, so first we will go to the AutoCAD screen. Now switch off the grid mode and now switch on the ortho mode. Now we will first set the limits of the drawing. So first we will go to the limits, specify lower left corner 0, 0, upper right corner 297, 210, then go to zoom all. Then go to line, select some arbitrary point, click on first button of the mouse and drag the mouse to the right side and take some distance and click on first button of the mouse and take the cursor to the top side, take some distance and click on first button of the mouse. Then go to offset, take the distance as 297, select this vertical line and offset to the left side and again go to the offset, take the distance as 210, select this horizontal line and offset to the top side, then go to zoom extends and zoom 0.6x, then go to fillet fillet between this vertical line and this horizontal line between these two and also between these two. Then go to D-text, we come down to D-text, specify start point, take height as 4, then the rotation angle of text as 0 and type this problem. 21. Draw the projections of the following points on the same XY line and keeping convenient distance between each projectors, name the quadrants in which they lie. 
problem number 21 draw the projections of the following points points on the same xy line and keeping convenient distance between each projectors each projectors name the quadrants name the quadrants in which they lie name the quadrant in which they lie so capital A is uh, 30 mm over HP and 35 mm in front of EP then uh, capital B 35 mm above HP above HP and 40 mm in front of VP then capital C 40 mm behind VP on VP 40 mm above HP so here it is not in front of VP it should be behind VP C which is on VP on VP and 40 mm above HP D 35 mm below HP capital D 35 mm uh, below HP and 30 mm in front of VP so here in front of VP so this is how you will be able to write the problem now we are going to try to solve this problem so to do that so first we will go to zoom previous now we will go to create the now we go for zoom window and then go to layer so here put on new layer and mark it as XY then click on new type the layer by name front view and click on new type the layer by name top view now we will go for the line weight make it as 0.05 then ok then in xy you make it as 0.13 then go to front view make this as magenta color and then the top view you make it as red then say ok and then say close now go to line first we are going to draw a horizontal line of some distance and then go to 30 mm above HP so the first condition is front view and the top view so first we will go to draw a vertical line of some distance and go to offset take the 30 mm here and then offset 30 mm and offset then go to this and make it 35 mm here then go to trim select this line and you select this line object to trim is this and object to trim is this then go to erase erase this line and also erase this line then we will go to the next problem so here you have 35 and 40 both are above xy line so go to line take nearest point take any convenient distance between each projectors then go to offset take 35 so from here you offset by 35 and again from here you take 40 so from here you take 40 and then go to trim select this line and trim this line so then go to donut take the distance as 0 and uh, make the distance as 3 and uh, take int of this and take int of this and take end point of this the end of this so then go to erase erase this to now so now the third point so 60 40 then go to line take nearest point from here then go to offset 40 mm above HP so from here you take 40 then go to trim select this then go to erase then here uh, below HP so go to line take nearest point so from here you take uh, down 
offset 35 mm below HP then offset 30 mm here then go to trim trim this line go to go to donut inside diameter outside diameter you take INT of this then go to trim trim this line till here then go to donut take INT of this and take INT of this and take INT of this and take endpoint of this then go to erase erase these two now we have all the drawings has been done and then break this and you break this then go to detext so here go to detext so here you type uh, 3 and you mark this as X and you mark this as Y and here A will be A dash and here A then above HP that is B dash and B then uh, above HP C dash then C below HP D dash and D here so then zoom extends and then zoom window you take only this near to the screen and now we will go to move command switch off the ortho mode you move this and place it wherever you want so go to a dash and place it similarly b and b dash then you take c dash then c then d and then d dash then uh, d d i m so go to modify go to primary units make it zero then go to text take the text height as three align with the dimension line center to become c above then go to symbols and arrows take the arrow size as three go to lines take the offset from the origin as two and say okay and say close now we go for dim take center of this and take int of this and you'll get 35 so go to ddim then modify then offset from the origin uh, lines and symbols text so offset from the origin as uh, from the dimension line as 2 and say close then go to dim vertical uh, sorry dim take center of this and int of this so we're going to get 30 then uh, center of this and int of this get 35 again take center of this and then int of this you get 40 then go to center of this to center of this so you get 40 then go to center of this uh, go to dim take center of this and take int of this so you take 35 and go to center of this and take int of this you're going to get 30 now here you take sorry then go to select this to a dash then you select this b dash then you select this c dash then you select this d dash then go to ch go to layer make this as front view then you select this b select this a select this c select this d go to ch go to layer make this as top view then you select this line go to ch go to layer make this layer as xy and say close now once you do this now we will go for the text uh, write the answer now so here answers so go to the text uh, capital a 
a a is in first quadrant then capital b is in second quadrant then capital c first as well as second quadrant then capital d uh, uh fourth quadrant fourth quadrant so c so then enter so this is how you will be able to write the final solution by using autocad software thank you